response. I just play spaces, so it's like Wolf and Fox. I do think. Time director. Oh yeah, Fox is just not like lane period. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, usually for Wolf, like just drop zone Nair usually gets the gets it done. That works on everybody. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, just like how the Belmonts like to recover, they like you know snap snap the ledge with Bear and they reel up. Like Wolf Nair is just so huge. The so runoff Nair just covers covers so much. Yeah, Wolf is Wolf is actually really, really powerful. And you know, I don't really see a whole lot of Wolves because um, I'm not really fighting a lot of great Wolves, but I don't see Wolves uh, do the drop down really because. Uh, it can be risky, like you, you're just putting yourself off stage and you miss. You're in a pretty sticky spot. Yeah, yeah, that's true. True that. We got Cyro and Rival. And now Rival's got the ZSS, and I know Cyro plays Roy and some Meta uh, We got some Meta Knights out here in SoCal. Actually, yeah. a surprising number, because I almost never play Meta Knight. At least I don't. Yeah, I mean, Meta Knight, not a super popular character. But I mean, kind of. I, I feel like a lot of people are kind of on the fence again with Men Knight. Like some people think he's good, some people really don't think he's great. So a lot of back and forth opinions about this character. I think those multiple jumps really solidify some of the good as well. Like not just the fact that he's got that back air that can just completely dominate you with those multi hits, but like, like when we saw um, Vero, he was able to get from zero to fifty just off of his jumps and up air. He didn't even have to do it. It's just like this is easy, <laughs> yeah. you know. But yeah, his lightness, uh, his disjoint being kind of a toothpick. Right, there, right. There are issues. There are issues. All right, so it looks like ZSS versus Roy will be the counter, or will be the uh, characters. Cyro and Rival will be going in with Rival pretty much solo zero suit. Uh, I, I know he's been working on a couple of pockets, but pretty much solo zero suit in turn. Hey, I mean that's not really a bad pick to make. Oh yeah, zero suit definitely. Um, I mean, it, it's it's tough because Mars does so well with her, but like I still don't think she's like top tier by any means. But. Yeah, I, I think the her range with that Zare, because Zare seems to be just the thing to do. Like when Quick was out here, he was using Zare all the time. Uh, he's got some range, or she's got some range. Uh, but you know, Roy, I think I still like Zero Suit Samus in this matchup, but Roy is, has so much power and she's pretty light, and he has a lot of speed to be able to catch up with her as nimble as he is. Look at that. But one thing that Zero Suit has is that flip kick. That flip kick can get her out of so many sticky situations. The offstage, the ledge is just something you have to respect. Okay, wow, but solid conversion here from Rival. And the Rocket Cyro 51%. That was kind of cool, actually. Ooh, man, that forward tilt. Ooh, so much work. It gets to the ledge. Oh, with the counter going to get Rival his one way ticket back to center stage. Now, this is the second time that Rival has done that, and I'm anticipating that Cyro is going to be on the lookout. He might be. Opting for like some up airs in the future and just catching him with it. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Just waiting oh. in just like that. The up air is going to take it. Cyro taking the first off the line. And I like these wave lands too. I I'm really starting to think that wave lands is a really good way to move about in this game just because you're landing on platforms a lot earlier. Woo! Yeah, that'll be great out of shield up. Yeah, especially when you're like juggling someone. Um, I feel like wave landing is really great because for the most part, like. It, it can be caught in neutral, you know, it is a, it has a little bit of lag, but if you're if you're juggling someone or you're hitting someone, you're not really going to get punished for that because you're the one hitting them. You know? Yeah, speaking of punishes, it's a really good way to get those whip punishes. Like, I can just go up and do my wave land and grab you, and then, hey, yeah. look who has neutral now. Boy. Okay. Oh, that get-up attack. That was pretty good for Roy. Yeah. Now... Man, Cyro's still living at 152% rival and needs to find an answer to this stalk or, you know, Cyro could just potentially take another stalk with all this rage. Yeah, and I'm starting to see what you're saying uh, about, like, Zero Suit Samus, you know, kind of being on the fence because it's just like, you know, she does have to set up when it comes to these really high percents because she starts to lose her, her combos after a while, especially when you consider rage into that picture. Oh, yeah. So, oh. Nice there. Look at that. It's just like easy conversions. It's just... As soon as you get hit by it, it be lights out for you. Okay, gonna reel him in with the side B there. If you do hold B with the side B, you um, hit them up like a launcher. That's awful. <laughs> That's terrible to think. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it doesn't, um, nothing's guaranteed from it, but they're still above you, which is good. Oh, yeah, you never, ever want to be above somebody in this game. Okay, there's another side B. Rival starting to bring this one back with that, uh, the plasma whip looking like to be a strong tool here, but hopping right over with that back air. Super strong. Yeah, Roy can kill you so early. It's just like, there are some benefits to playing Roy over Krom, 
Uh, Prom has, I think, slightly better recovery. Some might say I'm crazy for that. But okay. uh, the, the base of the sword, that's going to kill you incredibly early. Oh, yeah, the, the hilt the hilt hitbox is such a strong tool. We're going to get the grab, though. Can Rival steal out the stock without taking too much damage? Like, I think that's the main thing here. Rival didn't take a lot of stuff. Oh, man, not any damage at all. I'm just in a 19 flat here for Rival. Nice! He was able to kind of paint him out with that down B. Went straight into a down air. Yep. Yeah, and the down air actually like, stalled him out in the air as well, kind of staggering his uh, air timing there. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, wow, delayed with that uh, down air. Yeah, I like the spacing from Rival. He was getting like those nice little pokes and he was able to get himself out of the corner there. Imagine. Yeah. And it, it was it was nice too because Rival was able to extend outward and then just flip kick his way back to the stage. Still get his ledge trap, which is such a big deal. Yeah, it's like I can get back and I can potentially kill you if you overextend. Nice. There we go. Yep. Jab in the back air. Mm -hmm. The good old, I mean, probably Roy's most like, most solid kill confirm, most reliable uh, right there. So I was just running right up, getting that jab into the back air, and ooh, that back air, especially if you get that hilt hitbox, so, so strong. It's over. Yeah, uh, Krom can do it too. I was actually talking to somebody in the Discord the other day, um, just letting him know, like, hey, jab to back air does work, and you don't just have to um, attack cancel with it. I think at around 75% with no rage, you're able to get it true. No attack cancel whatsoever. No one can get it. Now, does attack cancel actually, like, your back air comes out frame data-wise faster? I actually don't know. I don't know, but I know that you're able to go further with the move. Yeah, um, I know for sure distance-wise, but I don't know if, like, you actually, like, the, the back air comes out faster or not. I don't know. I, I know it that... It seems, like, pretty close, because even when I'm, like playing and if I don't do attack cancel instead I just do like a regular like turnaround or just like dash insta rar it feels about the same but I'm, I'm not too sure yeah yeah I, I would imagine if you just practice your rars you're gonna get some pretty consistent stuff regardless all right so yeah. Meta Knight now this is strange because both of these characters well I think Meta Knight more so like to kill off the top and now we're on town and city oh okay we had a jab reset but you know we got a good position here um, I, I think uh, Zero Suit Samus more is about like killing you DVD logo style, like right into the corner there. Right. Not so much off the top, but uh, yeah, for Meta Knight, this is kind of a strange stage. Yeah, and maybe Syro did uh, pick Meta Knight because of this stage. You know, you can counter pick uh, stages in this game, but your opponent still has like a chance to change their character. Yep. Okay, that was kind of a bizarre down B, uh, but I, I like how you're able to use down B as like as a maneuverability tool or just a feint. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, the drag down into the down smash. Woo! Oh. Swiped them up with the NATO on the landing there. Really good stuff from Cyro. Yeah, nobody expects that. I should. Nice forward tilt. That's a really good spacing tool, uh, that forward tilt. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's the juke there, and Rival looking, I mean, not, not a... Not an impossible lead, but uh, looking pretty hard here. Yeah, I mean, like, pretty light character. Both of these are light characters, however. Um, Meta Knight's not the hardest hitter on the planet, but that forward smash is definitely something to watch out for. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Now I'm starting to think that that down smash is just sort of invalidated by that up that, that seems a bit tough to contest with. Yeah, just because it, you kind of peek above the ledge with, the, with that hitbox here. Yeah, he's going to have to find some other solutions. Okay. He's, he, he's clearly aware of it. He's clearly aware of it, which is good. Okay. Ooh, doesn't catch the dimensional cape, though. No dash sack to fall after the Zare as well. Oh, but he gets the ground. This shit is dead. So dead. So dead. And that's the one thing about flip kick, man. You get that berry. Oh, it's, it's it's such a good like evasive tool and like the reward you get potentially from it as well. You know what I mean? Like you can use it offensively for the kick, or if you're just trying to get back to center stage and they get in your way and get grounded, and you're like, oh sick, this is like a lot of damage or just the stock. Yeah, and I get my neutral back. Oh, so that okay, you know, kind of deserve that one if you ask me. Yeah, kind of, he was kind of fishing there. Mm. Oh, the parry into down tilt. Not going to connect, but the jab does follow. Mm. It looked like Rival was trying to flip kick back onto that platform there. Yeah. Oh, tried to slash him up, but Rival barely avoiding that. Missing it. Good back air. Yeah, he uh, he got. It looked like he got the fair hit he wanted. Just uh, the shuttle loop did not fully connect there. 
Yeah, and that that seems to be like one of the sad inconsistencies of the of a character like Meta Knight. It's like when you consider Di and Rage and the weight of other characters. Ooh, yeah. Finally got something with that down B though. Yeah, he was he was looking for that whole second stock, but he finally nailed it. <laughs> I like what he tried to do with the down air, trying yeah. to spike him uh, inverse. Okay, nice. Back, start things off. Up there, down, yeah, see, and instead of going for, like, shuttle, he just cashes out with the you know? Yeah. Gets it down, it gets the pair, solid to the six. I loved how he used that down there. Because it has a really good horizontal hitbox. I, I've seen it being used as an out-of-shield option, too. Kind of sweet. Oh, there's the up but no punish for rival here. Okay, making his way back, trying to get this uh, plasma move going as well. Tyro just staying right out of range, man. Yeah, it looks like Rebel's trying to find some type of way to, ooh, to uh, ledge trap, and that seemed to work perfectly fine. Yeah, he spaced that really well and got the uh, tip of it. I like the switch up on the DI from Rival there. Okay, there into the dash tag, try to catch the landing here. Oh, almost catches it again, but still not tilt for a struggle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, barely missed that, uh, that grab. Get up attack. Yeah, and that, that, uh, that side by the ledge pretty much brought him back into this game right now. Really good. Oh man, he, he snuck behind him again with the dimensional cape, and just like that, Tyro gonna take it over rival 2 a. Yeah, just when you think he's gonna faint, he just hits you with it. That's unfortunate.